mis amigos, welcome to my new channel at Sweet Decor. My name is Zulia Garza and everyone calls me Zoo. In this channel you should expect to see a lot of friendly budget home decor, do-it-yourself projects, uh, recommendations on how to flip something, a lot of thrift flips when the stores open again, and um, more. Woodworking, art, you name it, etc. I got it. It's coming for you. So I wanted to thank a new friend on YouTube that I reached out to and she actually helped me out. She actually messaged me back when I've messaged other people and when you're starting on YouTube it's kind of scary. You don't know where you're going, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you want to get out there, you don't know how to get out there for people to see your content and to discover you. So I wanted to thank my new friend on YouTube, Annalie Ashby. I will be linking her channel on the description box below. Right after this video, go and check her out. If you enjoy this video, you sure will enjoy her content as well. She has an amazing energy and she does a lot of DIYs as well. I just want to thank each and every one of you that has followed me from the beginning from Zulia Garza and has come over to this channel as well. I know that I don't have many subscribers right now, but I do have faith in this, and for whoever that has followed me from the beginning, I really thank you, I appreciate you. I really hope that you enjoy this video and that you enjoy my content. I'm going to be uploading at least once a week or twice a week sometimes, so make sure to hit on that subscribe button and make sure to double click on that bell so you will get notified every single time that I upload a video. All right, well, enough rambling. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's start off by looking at my old bathroom. I didn't have an issue with it for a long time. That's why it stayed like this. It's been about five years. I've added some stuff, taken out some stuff, but basically the paint color and Everything has pretty much remained the same, so I went ahead and taped everything and started off by painting. Now, this paint I've had in my storage room for about two years it's from my room, and this specific one looked good. The, one, the green one that you see here is from my son's room and did not look good. So I went ahead and just added a little bit of the one that did not look good to the other one, just to take out some of that pinkish tone that was in there and I went outside to show you guys the actual color. Okay, let's remove everything that you have on your walls and let's start painting. And I went ahead and removed this big things so that I could start painting the back and look guys oh my god it's already starting to look so much brighter what I was looking for now let's remove everything else and let's go outside so we can spray paint everything I'm gonna go with these two definitely going to give it a light sand to get rid of a lot of this I was stuck So I ended up just going with this specific spray paint, it's the flat matte and I thought it was perfect. Once it dried it really gave it that more elegant look because it didn't have the shine on it. Now of course I have to paint all of my trim because now that my walls are very fresh the rest looks bad. You can see the difference here, the yellow compared to the white so I was really happy I went ahead and did that. Switched up my toilet seat for a cushiony one for our tushities. I'm just watching these videos. Is you cut up a little piece, you mark where you need your things to go, and then you will make sure everything is level. Which I know it's probably not, so just put it on there, and then you go ahead and put your things. Remove the paper, and then you're going to hang your thing. I'm going to make 
got towel rack and I will show you guys. I saw them on Pinterest and I thought this was perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some pieces. It will be a long piece for the back and three smaller ones for the top. After I was done cutting them, I just gave them a light sand and I went on to staining. You guys, this is already looking good. So I went ahead and actually cut more pieces of wood because after the towel rack, I want to show you how to make a little caddy tray for your bath. Okay, and just set up your wood and grab your one and a, uh, sorry one and a quarter inch screws that I have. I went ahead and did, did some pre-drills. I love doing that part. I know a lot of uh, my guy friends say you don't need that you don't need to pre-drill if you have a compacted compacted drill you should be able to just put it right in but I actually enjoy it so I did some dry brushing with black and put the back in and ready to hang let's move on to our caddy tray so you're gonna have two long pieces I measured at 29 inch and then four pieces two small ones for the back and then two small ones for the top now I went and pre-drilled and added some one inch screws to hold everything together. Now I don't really have the measurements for the smaller pieces as I just measured it and went and cut it, but I did measure the one for the bath. I just went ahead and measured my bath top to make sure that it was going to fit. Now you attach your handle screws to the back and then twist your handle until it's all the way in and then just go ahead and screw from the back the last screw and then you just attach your two pieces at the top with more screws and that's good to go I had these pieces from a circle that I did with my scroll saw so I just went and removed the two end pieces and it was perfect to hold our tablet there and I also added a stencil that said relax. I thought it was perfect for the bath. And that's it, you guys. Look how well this turned out. I was so impressed with myself. And let's move on to project number three. I have these frames that I got from the Value Village. And they were obviously from Ikea. I paid $3.99 for each. Um, and then I went ahead and did some dry brushing with white then while that was drying I went ahead and grabbed the insert of the frames and painted them white on the inside it does not have to be perfect I did two coats and I'm gonna let that dry now on to project number four and five these are things that I just had in my storage room I went ahead and did white chalk paint on this frame very roughly I wanted some of that to come through put it to the side and let it dry and now I'm hot gluing this frame because it was already broken and so I went ahead and did that and then I just rode unwind with my metallic pen and a very easy way to make something abstract art it's just you splash some paint on a piece of paper, you grab your blow dryer and then just push it with the air as you can see here and I just added some gold leaf at the end and that was it. And to finish off the other painting that was drying, we're just going, I'm going to make this little cute figurines, paint them black and then I'm going to attach them to my frame. And now I'm just going to attach everything with some mud putch and then you just let that dry and on to our IKEA frames uh, just to finish them off I have this Crayola marker that I got from the dollar store they're the best for making calligraphy I feel and then you just go ahead and draw in all of your letters with your black marker as you can see here And you just put everything back in the frames and you guys look at this it looks amazing 
Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, for the frame, uh, the actual frame, I did the dry brushing in white, but I also did some sanding with 120 grit sandpaper. And here is all of the stuff that I just made. Oh, look at this one, guys, with the gold leaf on it. It looks amazing. You just have to put it in a frame. And on to our last project, uh, our cupboards, our cupboard doors. I just went ahead and removed it. I have this marble contact paper from Dollarama. It was $1.25. And marble has never been my favorite, but it's definitely better than how the doors looked before. So I liked it. I grabbed my sandpaper and look how easy it is to remove this, guys. Honestly, any platform that you put contact paper on, if you just run some sandpaper, it comes so fast and so easy. So I went ahead and pinched the where I had my door handles where they're gonna go and just attach those and look how good this looks guys um, I left the one line in white so I, I felt like it gave it more of a modern look I thought that it looked way better what do you think if you think that I should leave them white I'm still contemplating as marble as I said is not my favorite so let me know in the comment section below to let me know if you think that I should remove it and leave it white or if I if you like the marble now guys let's go ahead and hang everything and finally start styling It is time let's look at the before again and and then we'll see the after OMG yes I did this by myself I am so proud I am so happy I feel like I can finally relax in here. It doesn't feel cluttered, like it feels bright and inviting. And guys, there's a lock on the door. I can go in there and unwind, just like it says on that sign, and just relax, use my caddy. Ah, oh, I'm just so happy with the end results. What do you guys think? Do you think that this was helpful to you? inspirational to you go ahead and look in your storage room or where you keep your stuff and see what you have in there I don't recommend you go out I did this with less than a hundred dollars I just went into my storage room and I used whatever I could the only things I spend money on were the toilet seat and the curtains for the shower and that's it and that's when I went to Walmart to get my groceries that's where I got it I hope you really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe as I have lots of content coming for you every single week. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you next time.
bye guys and I will see you next time hello amigos no uh passion blah, 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 blah. do you like that that one was good right and I know who you are and I so much I know that's why I stop I know who you are okay okay <laughs> Julia uh, Garza, if you've never been here, no, no, no. Uh, I hate doing this part. Come back to my channel and oh, never mind, it's not back. <laughs>